This episode, along with hundreds of others from Calaroga Shark Media, is available without commercials. Just look for the banner on your Apple Podcast app to subscribe and try it free for a month. Calaroga Shark Media. Welcome back to the Weekly Mac, your ultimate source for the juiciest fast food news. I'm your host, Mac Davies, and we've got a jam-packed show for you today, filled with exciting updates from your favorite fast food chains. The arguable winner of the battle for the best chicken sandwich has now entered the fast food value wars. Cajun-inspired chicken chain Popeyes has brought back its big box promotion, where customers can score a poultry-rich meal for under $10. The Popeye's Big Box includes two pieces of signature chicken, which are hand-battered and breaded, then fried. The Big Box comes with your choice of two sides and a buttermilk biscuit for $6.99. Additionally, the chicken chain is offering a shareable option, the Bigger Box. Customers can choose from either 10 pieces of fried chicken or 10 chicken tenders and four biscuits for $20. Both the Big and Bigger Box deals are now available nationwide and can be ordered for both pickup and delivery. This lower cost meal isn't new, although the price is, in 2022, the big box was $6, showing that even hand-breaded deliciousness has become a victim of inflation. Popeyes joins the latest chains to announce a lower cost meal amid the value wars, where the country's most popular fast food eateries compete for the coins of cash-conscious consumers. In May, CNBC reported that McDonald's USA would be introducing a $5 value meal for one month starting June 25th. The meal includes either a McChicken and McDouble, a four-piece McNuggets, fries, and a drink. The Edmonton Oilers have their hope of a Stanley Cup resting on McDavid's shoulders, but his teammates aren't the only ones hoping he brings the ultimate prize home. McDonald's turned to Twitter to make a deal with McDavid. The fast food chain's idea is to rename one of the Edmonton McDonald's locations to a McDavid's if the Oilers lift Lord Stanley's Cup. There's no telling how long this deal would last. Would the location be renamed for a day, a week, a month? Would they create new offerings to celebrate the milestone? The possibilities are certainly endless in this regard. Fans of the Oilers and McDonald's have to be excited about the options. It's certainly going to be an intriguing situation to monitor going forward. McDavid and the Oilers have up to six games to fulfill their end of this challenge. We will wait and see what transpires over the next couple of weeks. Wall Street has an appetite for Krispy Kreme, and it's pushing the donut maker's stock up to its highest level in weeks. Shares of Krispy Kreme ticked up to 11.35 a share after the company's stock received an upgraded rating and a price hike on account of its partnership with McDonald's, which it announced in March. At that time, Krispy Kreme's stock jumped 40% after the company said it would offer three donut flavors at most of McDonald's 13,500 U.S. locations by the end of 2026. On Monday, Truist Securities upgraded its Krispy Kreme recommendation from buy to hold and raised the firm's price target from $13 to $15, noting that it was time to indulge in an underappreciated story. The firm said referring to the deal with McDonald's. Truist is also confident the surging popularity of weight loss drugs, such as Ozempic, will not impact the pastry maker's plans to sell its donuts at McDonald's nationwide. Drugs like Ozempic are intended to be used for the treatment of diabetes or weight loss. The partnership will accelerate revenue growth of legacy business in the next few quarters, well before the McDonald's rollout is complete, analysts said. In the note, Truist added that, that the GLP-1 overhang is fully reflected in the current valuation, and that nonetheless, yes, we want to eat healthy, but we like our sweets. In May, Krispy Kreme told investors during the company's first quarter earnings call that it had posted its best sales quarter in the company's history thanks to its specialty donuts, including its solar eclipse and Valentine's Day pastries. It seems that the donut maker is aiming to keep its speciality momentum going. On Monday, Krispy Kreme said that it planned to permanently add four new flavors to its Donut Dots menu. The new flavors, powdered, sprinkled, cinnamon, and cookie crumb, will join the company's original glazed flavor. They will be available online or in-store in a 10-count or 24-count cup, it added. Ice-T seems to have a new job. On Monday, the 66-year-old actor was seen working behind the counter of a restaurant. 
This comes after the New Jersey native appeared in the season 25 finale of Law & Order, SVU, where he played Detective Finn Tutuola for 24 years. Ice had on a red t-shirt that said Canes as he stood in front of a cash register, where he welcomed shocked customers. But the move was only a promotion for the fried chicken chain raising Canes. When it comes to Ice-T, few are more synonymous with the refreshing beverage than musician, MC, and actor Ice-T, a press release shared. Recently, Ice-T also added Raising Cane's fry cook and cashier to his list of accomplishments and is at the front counter, making this National Ice-T Day twice as nice, the release also said. It's the national holiday celebrating me and Cane's Ice-T, and it's great to be working with Cane's again on one of my favorite holidays, said Ice-T. There are two versions of iced tea. One is sweet and one is unsweet. Both are great at Cane's, but you only want the sweet version of iced tea. During his shift at Raising Cane's in Astor Place, iced tea surprised unsuspecting fans and customers by popping up with a perfectly filled cup when they ordered iced tea. This comes after he said he learned by accident his fate on L&O. Ice tea's character receives a gunshot wound during a dangerous confrontation with an armed boy. Now the rapper has revealed how he learned his character would be getting shot once again. Speaking with people, the actor revealed his castmates alerted him to the scene before he was able to finish reading the script. I was reading the pages. I didn't know. So I'm hearing the script and everybody's like, you're getting shot. I'm like, what? That could be bad. He recounted. His character Finn fortunately survived. I lived through it, he added. More in a moment. There are plenty of reasons to love fast food. It's quick, convenient, comforting, and, let's face it, delicious. But there are downsides, of course, with costs increasing, no longer falling into the cheap eats category, as well as not necessarily being good for you or nutritious. Though caloric intake at each fast food chain varies by item and portion size, Quartz utilized the nutrition database platform Nutritionix to list the eight chains with the highest calorie menu items, including the specific item and how many calories it contains. Here are the eight chains and items with the highest caloric intake from lowest to highest. In eighth place is American fast casual restaurant Zaxby's, which is known for its chicken wings, chicken fingers, sandwiches, salads, and zappetizers. The highest calorie menu item is the Buffalo Boneless Wings and Things, which comes in at 1,460 calories for one serving, according to Nutritionix. Wendy's highest calorie menu item is their Pretzel Bacon Pub Triple. According to Fat Secret's food database and calorie counter, the item is 1,530 calories for one serving. In sixth place is Shake Shack, with the highest calorie item being the Double Down Fries, Crinkle-cut fries topped with shack cheese sauce, spicy cherry peppers, and all-natural smoked Neiman Ranch bacon. One serving of the Double Down fries is 1,910 calories. According to Nutritionix, Checkers Triple Baconzilla is 1,210 calories per serving. The Triple Baconzilla is three beef hamburger patties with four slices of bacon, two slices of American cheese, melted cheddar cheese, ketchup and mayonnaise served on a toasted bakery-style bun. Culver's is known for their concrete mixers, and the highest calorie mixer is the Berry Happy Birthday Concrete Mixer. A large Berry Happy Birthday Concrete Mixer is 1,570 calories. The chain with the third highest calorie menu items is Dairy Queen. A large peanut butter puppy chow blizzard comes in at 1,360 calories. In second place is Burger King, with the Bacon King Burger being the highest calorie item on the menu. At 1,200 calories, the Bacon King Burger has two beef burgers topped with thick-cut smoked bacon, melted American cheese, ketchup, and mayonnaise on a sesame seed bun. The chain with the highest calorie menu items is Sonic Drive-In. On Sonic's menu, the individual item with the highest calorie intake is the Oreo and Reese's Peanut Butter Shake, with 1,720 calories for the large. And there you have it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed this fast food ride. The Weekly Mac is a Calaroga Shark Media production. Executive producers Mark Francis and John McDermott. Portions of this podcast may have been created with the assistance of AI.